Hi, welcome to Cooking with Ray. Today I'm going to be doing breakfast. A uh, very long time ago, a friend of mine back then, he was going to cook this breakfast. So I was like, he goes, what do you want? I said, and just some scrambled eggs. He was like, I got something, something that my wife, well, ex-wife now, used to make. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll try it. What is it? A Western omelet, he called it, which he scrambled it. So I'm not even sure how it's an omelet, but... I digress. So I'm looking at him. He's scrambling the eggs. Then he grabs a jar of uh, the salsa dip that you use for your, your chips. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is some kind of joke. What the hell are you doing, dude? So anyway, he throws that in there. I was like, dude, I'm not going to eat this. It looks horrible. He was like, trust me, taste good. I was like, eh, I'm not, I can't do it. So anyway, I was so hungry. I tried it and oh my goodness, it was really good stuff so shout out to Giuseppe for turning me on to that and so that's what I'm going to be doing today but I'm going to actually do an omelet I'm not going to do scrambled eggs I'm going to do a western omelet with uh, hash browns and white toast just something simple no big breakfast it's going to be quick and easy but it's going to be delicious so let's start cooking with Ray okay this really doesn't take long at all so while you're preparing the omelet you might want to put some butter in your pan that it melt slowly while you're doing this so you could put it uh, the omelet in the pan um, if you don't like butter obviously you could use margarine or whatever you want to heat the pan so Let's see, I'm going to use a little bit of hot sauce here. It's not needed. And I'm not going to go the Giuseppe route with the, the canned salsa. As Becky, our friend, would say, fresh is always best. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but she's right. Fresh is always best. So we're going to use some fresh salsa. So I like to be primitive and pry this off with my teeth. Or so I go get a knife. Well, this isn't that professional at all, is it? Hey, leave me alone. I'm still a single guy. Bachelor. Bachelor. I do things bachelor. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Anyway. <laughs> I'm only making enough for for myself, so I'm not. I don't need that many eggs. So I do need a spoon, though. So I going to crack one. enough since four is enough to fill our life with joy sorry okay I'm not gonna use much hot sauce because this stuff is really hot so let's see I'm gonna use maybe mm, Yeah, that's enough. Don't need that much. Okay. And I need one more spoon. Okay, uh Chris, you can put as much as you want. I'm just gonna put one spoon yeah basically you can put as much as you want I'm gonna put one spoon 
two spoons. Two spoons should be more than enough. Let's put this back in the refrigerator because this is it's supposed to be refrigerated. Okay, now, um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use any salt because I'm going to do a little, I want some meat in there too. So, I'm going to use some ham. Not much is neat. I'm not going to use that much. I just use, I just use two slices of deli ham. It's very thin already. Just pretty much you just dice it up like this. One like little squares, squares should be fine. Okay, that should be good. Dump this in here. it up mix it up until it's all blended together and Bit of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. You could use whatever cheese you like. I don't put that much, just like a pinch rather. Pinch in there. That should be good. Continue stirring it up. See, I should put the eggs away too. So, we'll do this. I also forgot to mention at the opening of the show, I'm gonna have some Wayusa tea. It's very good stuff. It's not spelled the way like it sounds. Well, you sir, but it's pretty much it relaxes you and um, it helps promote. Um, oh, what kind of dreams is it? I can't even think of the dream. Lucid dreams helps promote lucid dreams. Okay, this looks pretty much ready. So let's go over to the stove, shall we? Okay, so we. I'm going to use, hmm, how big of an omelette do I want? We're going to use a small pan. Put it on like, uh, like a three. Take like, just a tablespoon, a tablespoon of butter. Throw it in the pan. Let that melt. And now we're gonna get some uh, the pan started for our our hash browns. So put that on four. I'm gonna use vegetable oil, but you can use whatever it is you like to use. We can use vegetable oil. I'm not gonna use that much. That should be fine. Once the butter is melted, then we will dump our omelet mix in there and then let it cook very, very slowly. So, shall return in a little bit. 
Okay, so now that the butter is mostly melted, we're going to put our omelet mix in there. I'm making it rather a thick omelet rather than just a big one so it's going to be really thick so you're going to put all the mix in there I don't really have an exact time of how long you let it cook but you just monitor it, you can tell how when eggs are are cooked, so let's just keep it at a low fire. And let's see, uh, this isn't ready yet, so we'll continue to to wait on that and I'll return in a little bit when it's more cooked. Take it easy dog, take it easy. Take it easy, dog. Take it easy, dog. Take it easy, dog. Take it easy. No more crying. No. Okay, so the pan is nice and hot for the hash brown. So I'm gonna do two of them. It's very hot. So put them very. Good. And pretty much you're going to cook until golden brown. Turn the heat up a little wee bit on the omelet. And I'm using uh, non-stick pans, as you can see. It's better for the omelet, so it doesn't stick. But you use whatever you have. We're gonna have white toast with it. The Wayusa tea I'll do last because I don't want the tea to sit and get cold. This is Wayusa tea right here. It's awesome stuff. I got mines from David's tea. It's from Canada. It's good stuff. It's many many benefits. I'll read some of it. It says uh, we are seriously passionate about why you saw around here and we couldn't be more excited to spread the word. Not only does it pack an incredible burst of energy. It's also deliciously smooth, grassy, and lightly sweet. And it's very true, it is. We have them to wash this all down. Now for me, since, since I'm using grease, after I, it's cooked, I'm going to put it on a napkin so it can soak the grease out of there. And then after that, I'm going to put it in an aluminum foil to keep it nice and warm or hot while the omelet is still cooking. Nothing like a cold hash brown. I love them hot. Oli, 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 oli. Feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm in a Calypso mood. Yes, right, I'm gonna push my Calypso CD, New Calypso Breed. Get it on iTunes. But uh, yes, this is good stuff. Oh, 
I forgot how could I forgot you also could get it locally in Manchester, Connecticut at Newberry Comics. Also in Maine, Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Just look it up online. Okay. These hats run look like they're golden brown. Pretty much you want to put them on the napkin so you can soak up some of this grease. And fire off there. Turn it back. Beautiful morning. Alright, so we have a piece of foil here. And just wrap it up in here. And, and this is just basically while that we're awaiting the omelet to be finished. But if you, want, if you don't want to do this, you can wait until the omelet is just about ready and then you cook your hash brown. So I'll also do it that way too. Okay. It's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Use whatever means you have to heat your water, whether it be a kettle, a pot, microwave, whatever you whatever have you. And this is oh this is not my way use of tea. <laughs> Pardon me, that is not my way use of tea. I thought I had some in there. Okay. Oh boy. That would be bad. That's all splendor. So all splendor. So I saw I dumped a whole bunch inside there, but I'm um, guess some wrong. So I was hmm, anyway. This is what it looks like. And you're going to basically take a scoop of this. Good. So I'm um, microwaving my T 
tea or my water actually for my tea. My well, I use the tea once the water is hot. I just dip this in here and let it sit in here and percolate. Just put the butter on the toast, not much. There it is. Mm. Till next time, enjoy your day. Have breakfast and cook with Ray again.